I wanted to record this video with a script and preparation. I wanted it to be beautiful and logical. But I decided to do it today. Let it be emotional and real. Let it contain only my sincere thoughts and experiences. Let it be an improvisation. Why today? Today is my little birthday. Today is exactly two years since I started HRT. A question I've been asking myself a lot lately is, what is happiness after transgender transition? What exactly does happiness after two years of trans transition mean to me? I just happened to come across a video on this topic. It's what provoked me to do this improvisation. So what is happiness for a transgender woman? Person, We're all very different and our goals in life are different, and happiness for each heart is also very individual. In this video, I want to share my happiness, how I personally see it for myself. This is exclusively my story. I in no way claim to be exceptional. Before I begin, I want to say to all the haters and homophobes, do not bother to write your angry comments. I don't care about your opinion. If it mattered to me, do you think I would have taken this step? You think I didn't realize what a difficult step I was taking? Very well. I made it completely consciously and was initially prepared for negativity from others. Now, two years later, I've developed an immunity to you. Take your self-esteem elsewhere. I remember the day I took hormones for the first time very well. It was December 14th, 2021. All I felt from the beginning was euphoria. The unbelievable joy of knowing that I had done it after all. Yeah, it's a bit illusory, of course. It's like having wings and wanting to take off. It's an incredible feeling. But now, after two years, I realize that they are more like a fairy tale than reality. In general, during this period, everything was going strangely for me. I don't know. Maybe it's like that for everyone. I don't know. But personally, at the end of each year of HRT, I had some rethinking of myself and my life. In the beginning, it's euphoria. After one year, a calm realization and enjoyment of my new life. And now, I never really thought about what would make me happy before. I just lived, really, just moving forward with my life. And strangely enough, there was no need for any kind of happiness. Thinking back on that period, I realize it's probably very strange. But by the two-year mark, things are turning around in my head again. Every day I feel more and more the need for fulfillment as a woman. Not external fulfillment. Inner self-actualization. I gradually became indifferent to any kind of entertainment and empty adventures. The rhythm of my life became more measured and calm. My brain was gradually slowing down, and some elusive peace was forming in it. How amazingly human beings are. Do I know exactly what would make me happy right now? Yes, I know very well. Relationships, a family, a real relationship, built not primarily on sex, but on spiritual intimacy. I have an overwhelming desire to give a man love, tenderness, care, the only man on this planet. That's probably the only thing I want right now. And, as it is not sad to realize, the more acute I feel it, the more I realize that I will probably not be able to realize it. I feel like the men who really need it just don't exist. You think I'm disappointed? Still somewhere deep in my heart I believe that this miracle will happen. But with each passing day, this happiness of mine is becoming more and more of a pipe dream. That's it, guys. Happiness and sadness must always walk side by side.